Hello everybody, Jetpack Buddha here. Welcome back to the final, hopefully the final pre-hard mode episode of the Terraria Mage playthrough. In today's episode, we are starting off by fighting the Wall of Flesh. The fleshiness himself. Hey, Fire Imp, you are not the Wall of Flesh, so I would enjoy it if you would cease to do that. Also, only 4,000... Oh, 8,000 health? I could've sworn it was like 4,000 or something. Maybe that's on journey mode. Anyway, I believe the way to do it is sort of something like this. Also, I got normal health potions. Because... Uh... Get back. Mr. Wall. That is your real name. Most likely is. Alright, you know what? B time. Bees, you handle them. Bees are handling him quite nicely. Not sure if the wall of flesh even is a him. Pretty sure it's just flesh. Also, now that, uh, now we can do a little bit of Flame Lash. The, that was not difficult. <laughs> what did we get? Tiny Home, po yes, Home Hammer. A Tiny Pwn Hammer and the Firecracker. So what this means is, A, of course, our... We're now in hard mode, but also, B, after this episode, I'm going to take maybe a small break. It's not going to be like a major hiatus like that one time with the Warrior playthrough, but just a small break because I've currently just been doing this to give content daily, but like I haven't always been fully into it. But yeah. So now that we have the wall gone, I guess it's time to break some altars. And luckily the, t pwn ham the tiny debuff... Not really a debuff, but... Also, our hollow is over there. And I'm going to do something that some people might find a little bit... Oh, wait, actually, no, I can't do that. As well as say, I'm going I'm going to... Uh, turn my base into the hollow, but then I realize that... I don't have a dryad to do that, so... Yeah. The... Corruption, I guess, has been hollow-fied. Which is pretty nice. I wonder how my underground base is faring. Also, apparently tonight is a werewolf night. As seen from the werewolves. Uh, bees are not as powerful as they once were. This is so sad. I guess now I just break some altars. There's a lot of altars to break. And I'm most definitely preparing for a swarm. Ah! You're dying to a pre-hard mode weapon that isn't even that good. But a pre-hard mode weapon that is good is this Flame Lash. I didn't... I'm so glad that they buffed this. Like, now it's like... 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 Also, I didn't even see what... My world was blessed with. We have titanium in this world. Okay. We have a ton of altars to crack open. So, I guess... Now time to do some mining... Hopefully find us a Mimic. I would not mind a Mimic, not in the slightest. There's some Mithril... Uh... Okay, we have Palladium on this world. Oh god. Yeah, now we have Black Recluses to deal with whenever we go down the elevator. I think one of the things I'm, I want to try and go for in this episode is maybe a Meteor Staff? Uh... I feel like a Meteor Staff. 
could be beneficial to our cause of destroying hard mode, but uh, not mean to do that. And I do not want to fall into lava either. Falling into lava is not fun. Aha! And there is a bound wizard. Uh, as long as he doesn't get murdered by this quite rude little bat. Bam! Crystal ball. And greater mana potions. Quite snazzy, if I do say so myself. I, like, only used a few of those lesser potions. They're already obsolete. And the wizard's dead. Alright, well... Well, I have the camera cut to me. I might as well see what I can make with... Uh, okay, we almost have enough for a Palladium Pickaxe. Nurse has arrived. I'm not sure how that's possible. Where do you live, Nurse? Oh, yeah, the guy died. That's why the nurse is here. Guess that makes sense. Kind of needed the guide, but I guess I have the Terraria Wiki to look up recipes. I feel kind of bad for him now. Like, the guy is so obsolete that, he, that his role has been replaced by just... I don't think I've ever gotten a zealous pickaxe. Interesting. Well, now on to Mithril. Ooh, Tim. Tim, give me accessory. Thank you, Tim. Now I look more like a wizard. And we also found a pretty huge chunk of mithril. Don't mind if I do. Oh boy, uh, yeah, corruptors exist. Um... I don't have any spell tomes. So I can't really do anything. Also, there's a tortured soul. I, which I still can't do anything about because I don't have enough of the items. Might head over to the hollow, because the hollow is going to be quite useful. In fact, actually, I don't even need hollowed seeds. I, I can just use this one pearl stone block to, like, sort of infect my world. I wouldn't call it infecting it, because, like, the hollow is supposed to be, like, good. It's just everything tries to kill you. I don't know, there's something, like, in the lore that's, like, the hollow isn't a bad place, but... Like, it wants to rid the world of any and all evil or something. I don't know. Apple pie. Okay. We can make a mithril anvil to make mithril gear, but then I don't think we can make anything with the current mithril we have. Kind of a dilemma. Also, yes, at some point I definitely need to figure out my chest system. Probably going to do that after this episode when I take a little break. Because I, I want to work on this world during the break. I'm not going to just completely abandon it. Like, both this world and the other world. Also, I should probably start getting the infection, quote-unquote, running. Where, once I find where I put the pearl stone. Whoa, 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 would you look at that? There's, okay, granite golem. Please, thank you for... There's been a chest right under our noses this entire time. And it's a dead man's chest. I can tell from the boulders. And now where's the, where's the dynamite? There it is. Don't appreciate trying to get blown up. What do we get? A mace. Wow. I mean, actually, I'm not sure what else I expected. This is, at the end of the day, 
Alright, that is at the end of the day a pre-hard mode chest. And we are in hard mode, so... Pretty much everything's going to be kind of obsolete. Now we can make a mithril pickaxe. Actually, I should have made a drill. Oh well. I'll make a drax, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't really matter that much at the end of the day. It's just an ore. Or a drill, or the point. Now, our final... Our final little... Thing on this list is titanium, which we're going to need the most of. However, while I was on my little hunt for mithril, I found quite a lot of titanium just dotted around the place, so it shouldn't be that hard to collect enough to make titanium armor. For example, there's one right by the spider cave that we have to pass by every single time we, uh, you know, fall down this hole. That's pretty convenient. I don't know the total amount of titanium I need, but I know that it's quite a lot, so. Alright. How much can we make with a titanium forge? We have 68 titanium. Make 13 bars. Um. See, so we can make headgear. Well, yeah, going with headgear, because that's the mage armor. Kind of ridiculous to not go with the headgear in this specific situation. Also, I really, really need to. Uh. I really need to. Sort out my inventory. There's like no space for anything. Ah, and here's our first mimic. Will he give us what we would like? Maybe. Maybe not. Only time will tell. Uh, also, maybe if everyone else doesn't, like, murder me. Is the Mimic dead? Did the Mimic die? Yeah, he dropped a hook. And I'm dead as well. Oh, uh, I accidentally angered a hollowed Mimic. This may be the end of Jetpack. This most likely is the end of Jetpack. Unless I can pull something out of my butt. Come on, stop closing. And I'm dead. I didn't even get killed by the Mimic, I got killed by the Bat. I should have a good amount of titanium now. Still not enough to do the full armor set, but definitely not like a minimum amount. Um, did the lava machine break? There's just a infinite pouring lava. Well, I need to report that to the manager of Lava Incorporated. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure that's just because one of the titanium blocks is like a half slab. So that's why the loft is all weird. I was worried that my game was glitching for a second. Luckily, I don't think it is. Alright, we have a second Mimic. Come on, Mimic. A second dual hook. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted. Also, how many... Souls of Light do I have? Seven. Nice. Alright, and now we can make the titanium breastplate. We're going from... Wait, what? Only nine defense? Oh, I got broken armor. Thanks, Terraria. Well, thanks, skeletons. The actual game of Terraria had nothing to do with this unfortunate event. Anyway, now that the broken armor's finished being broken, uh, we're going from 18 defense all the way up to 32. That is a big increase. So, 16% increased magic damage and 320 mana. 
That is very, very good accessory. Very, very good. Also, Nurse, how do you like the hollow? But you dislike the lack of social distancing. I can't tell if they put that in because of the... Uh, everything that's going on, or if that's just a coincidence. Anyway, before this uh, video ends, I do want to make myself a meteor staff, because I feel like that would be helpful. I also want to get crystal shards, but I can't because the uh, wizard is dead. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, also with, uh, with the new titanium boner upgrade, I have a little titanium bonus upgrade. I have little titanium shards going around me. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. So I think I need like three more souls. So, yeah. Uh, we have a rock golem. He's new. Welcome to Terraria. How do you enjoy getting? getting stuff thrown at you. He didn't drop anything. Well, he probably did, but it all got burned up in the lava. Alright. I did pixie farming and we should, yeah. The meteor staff. So that's gonna go here. Ruby staff, you've had a good run, but you have, like, no use anymore. So, yeah. And I think, on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you guys all later, and goodbye.